The Vermont Principals Association and school districts trying to get ahead of issues with fan and player behavior at sporting events this year. NBC 5's Carolyn Sistran joins us in studio with more on the education focused approach that's now being taken. Carolyn? Yeah, Brian Alice, the VPA and districts are committed to this type of approach to make sure everyone has the tools on how to act if unwelcomed fan behavior happens again this year. The start of school means high school sports are back. Districts across Vermont on high alert to start the school year to make sure rowdy and even racist behavior at games and matches doesn't happen like last year. I like to say it has never happened here, um, but you know, I'm like in any setting, of course it's happened. Mount Mansfield Union High School putting up these new signs all over their athletic facilities with the Vermont Principal Association's pregame statement that includes expectations of players, coaches, and fan behavior. We don't have a, a sound system necessarily that can portray this for every game. We decided to take the route of posting it everywhere we are. Executive Director for the VPA, Jay Nichols, saying in a statement that they take behavior at games and activities seriously, that each athletic director or school administrators can stop games, removing people whose behavior is inappropriate, going as far as banning anyone who can't be respectful. This statement, which must be read before every game, explaining in detail the consequences if unsportsmanlike behavior happens, including ejection, ending the game, forfeit, kicking out all the fans, and restrictions for future games. In addition, a new reporting log will help the VPA learn of instances and identify patterns. They say this isn't an alternative to reporting to your district administration. Multiple incidents last season sparking this concern. Enosburg Falls players and fans allegedly directed racist comments at the Winooski boys soccer team during a match. South Burlington girls volleyball players were accused of racial and transphobic slurs during a match with Burlington. And the Hartford High School girls soccer team walked off the field during a game against Fairhaven, claiming that sexually harassing comments were coming from the opposing school's fan section. MMU's activities director reminding everyone that these are kids in an academic environment. I think, you know, the education-based athletics piece that we try to portray here um, with our student athletes and the lessons that are being, are being learned and taught, I think are important and it needs to also be acceptable and respectful um, from those who come watch the event. We have the full pregame statement and a link to the VPA reporting a concern link on our website. That's myNBC5.com. In the studio, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.